But yeah, I've been watching this movie called The Politician's Husband, and it's got one of my favorite actresses in it, and her name is Emily Watson. That's who's in this uh, Netflix uh, series I'm watching right now. I just love Emily Watson. She's just so all right. I'll tell you a really good. It's called The Honorable Woman. It was very intriguing. It was very interesting. Okay, the movie I just was telling you about. Actually, it's more than a movie. It's a series. You know. This is TV show. Okay, it was a TV show miniseries. I watched several episodes. I watched all that I could here on online Netflix, and it was just very intriguing. It was just so interesting. And Maggie Gyllenhaal is the actress who stars in it, and it was just really awesome. Actor who also stars, but sorry, I do not know his name. Okay, I watched another movie. Let me see. A number of days back, called the Sapphires. That was a really interesting movie. I just really loved that movie. I loved watching The Honorable Woman, and I loved watching the Sapphires. Very enjoyable. Now the Sapphires was almost about like true history, you know, about these people. I think they're called the Aboriginals, something like that. In Australia, they were the the people that was there first, you know, like years and years and years ago. You know, they didn't get treated very good because the color of their skin, they they、uh, they really didn't get treated、uh, like they, you know, right the right way.、Um, Um, anyways, there was about a young group of、uh, black women from Australia. Yeah, well, one of them looked white, and、uh, I think it was four four girls, and they named themselves the Sapphires. Music group singers. Okay, sorry, I'm not very good at, at explaining things. Just not, I'm just not a very good speaker. I'm better at writing than I am at speaking. Okay, and then the movie I watched before that movie is called Waking Up in Reno.
mom and sister I was inspired to write this song about this movie. And I started to watch I started I started to write the song and I found out about two lines and I just kind of concentrated on it. Now this is stars this actress and she's really great. Her name is Shirley Knight. She's been in lots of movies. And it also stars Tom Skewitt. Don't know how to pronounce his name. Tom Skewitt. Skewitt. And I just love that actor. I've always loved him. And I love Shirley Knight a lot too. Watch this other movie. Where's it at? In my list of movies. There was a Jesus movie, and it was the most awesome Jesus movie, maybe, that I've ever seen. It was maybe the most awesome Jesus movie that I've ever seen. It's got Son of God, and the most gorgeous looking Jesus ever, I've ever seen in any of the Jesus movies I've ever seen. The Lord Jesus Christ is simply gorgeous. And you know, I've been wondering, what really picks your Jesus being that gorgeous? You know, not that, not that great looking, good looking. But I tell you, this actor who played Jesus, Jesus Christ, in his Son of God movie, what's the name of the movie? Son of God. He, he really seemed like, you know, the way Jesus would actually look, you know, kind of, in a way. And then he uses his, his persona, his personality. It's just like you'd imagine, or I would imagine, it was the Jesus would be like, you know, just so good and kind and caring and loving and all those wondrous qualities that, you know, you suppose Jesus would have in. I just really enjoy them. The way I, if I get around to it, I would like to watch the entire 2013 miniseries of uh, the Bible. It says it's a follow-up to the landmark 2013 miniseries, The Bible. The feature follows the life of Jesus Christ or his humble birth to his resurrection. I just read that on this little uh, Netflix so pop up window. Now, if you like Jesus movies, I think that you will really love this movie. It's, it's a really great movie. So, again, the third time on it today, third or third time. Son of God. As a matter of fact, that movie is so good, I think I'll watch that movie. Very often watch it maybe the second time, second or third or fourth time. But certain movies that are really awesome movies, you know, you can watch like over and over again sometimes. Okay, well, that's all for right now. Bye, folks. Have a great day.